Today is 2024, May 14th, and it is a monumental day for me because my channel has got over a thousand subs today. <laughs> Mini fireworks on screen, sure, that sounds good. I'll take that. This morning it was at 999 before I left the house. Um, yesterday it was 996, so I got like 10 subs just today. Oh my gosh. Damn. Just to show you, this is my sub count over the last year. And as you can see, there are little spurts of growth. Oh, that was a big spurt for me. And then it's like a little less staircase. That's pretty flat for the most part. That was a good growth period for me. And it was flat for a long time while I did my daily vlogs here. Um, Actually, this is the duration of my daily vlogs. So I was doing well at first and then it flattened out. And then when I switched to non-daily vlogs, making videos every two days on topical things, and then the last two videos really pushed me from 916 to just a thousand within five days. So that was a huge, the biggest growth for me yet. Yeah, so that's what my growth looks like over the last 365 days. Do you know what percentage of people have 1,000 subscribers on YouTube? 8.86%. <laughs> I'm in the top 10%, baby. If you're watching this, there is a good chance that you're one of my subscribers. So thank you for joining me on my journey. And I love reading my comment section, especially the ones that are not big hits, the ones that are just small videos and you guys are commenting, you know who you are, the ones who comment again and again. I recognize your names, usernames, and it feels like a tight little friendly community. I think that's like the best feeling that a YouTuber can have with their audience because I heard that once you reach a certain level of growth and you just get too many comments, it just gets overwhelming and there's no longer a small little tight community feeling. I guess that will probably move on to my Discord server for those of you who join my Discord server. Although it's it's not very active right now even though I made it quite a while ago. But yeah, I really enjoy the process of interacting with you guys after I post my videos. This is video 347 and 50 of those 347 are shorts, so almost 300 long videos at this point, and that's how long it took me to get to 1,000 subscribers. Although the first 100 subscribers plus or a bit more were from shorts. So this is the average number of videos that people make in order to reach a certain level of number of subscribers. So the average for 1,000 subscribers is making 152 videos to get to that level. Now, obviously, I am about double that or even more if you include 50 of my shorts. But yeah, about exactly double that in terms of the number of long videos. So I am <laughs> twice as slow as other people in terms of reaching 1,000 subscribers. Um, the next target of 10,000 subscribers, the average is 418 videos. I'm definitely gonna probably need to make at least five, 600, probably maybe even more videos to reach to that level, we'll see. Um, and beyond 1,000 and almost 4,000 for even more, so ooh, long game, really long game to keep climbing this ladder. But uh, the important thing is that I'm growing, so even if I'm slower than average, doesn't really matter. Since I've stopped my daily uploads of vlogs, now my goal, as you probably know, is to upload once every two days, but idea generation is pretty hard when I'm not just talking about whatever's going on in my day. So I'm still struggling with that, working on that, and I was talking to my friend Chase, fellow YouTuber, and he said, why don't you stop consuming videos? And maybe even books too, just to get in touch with your inner self. And I don't know if that's gonna be really helpful, but I'm sure it's better than just bombarding yourself with content and only having external stimuli to have as video ideas instead of something that comes from within. So maybe he's right, but uh, yeah, I should give it a try stopping video content, watching video content to get better at idea generation. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing this, I just got it restrung because the rubber band string was almost completely cut. It was damaged. So 
I actually bought this one before the black one. And if you're wondering, yes, they are mala beads, the 108 beads that um, Buddhists, I guess, wear, including this one. This is also 108 mala beads. And this is wood too, even though it looks like black plastic. Uh, this is purple sandalwood and this is sandalwood. And I am not wearing them for religious reasons. I am wearing them because I like touching wood, although I don't really use this one that much. I'll, I, I wear this all the time as you probably have seen if you have been following me, but did you know that there's research study that shows that touching wood activates your parasympathetic nervous system, which calms you down. So there is something about touching wood and I guess maybe touching something about nature in general that calms you down. And that's why I like touching wood and wearing wooden jewelry. I'll give you a tour of my room if you didn't see my previous video. This is where my dual monitor is set up and my desktop here that I bought, I think, was it? Yeah, end of last year, I think I got it. My light alarm clock, bed. <laughs> Don't judge. I just put my clothes that I'm gonna wear again and uh, There's my flute. It's been over a week since I played it and streamed it, but Yeah, that's it and in case you're curious of what light I'm using I made a video review about it It's the light that I got from Amazon for I forget 70 bucks something like that So that's my filming setup usually do the curtain so that the light doesn't get in the way in the background. Well, I will see you in two days. 1% better every day, baby. <laughs>